Hello and welcome to another Dragon Ball Fighters video. Today we have a breakdown for Super Baby 2. Baby has great damage, great meter build, and the absolute best key blast in the game. He can lock you down in neutral, make it really hard for you to move, but beginners might struggle to play him since a lot of his options can be risky to use. This video is brought to you by Surfshark. I bet a lot of you guys already know the benefits of using a VPN. All that safety and privacy, being able to see the world as if you're from another country. We've all been there, we want to watch something on Netflix or Crunchyroll, and the show we're looking for is just not available in our country. Well, with a VPN, that's no longer a problem, and if you follow the link down below, you'll get a massive discount of 83% plus 3 months absolutely free when you sign up for a 2 year plan. That's already crazy affordable for an average VPN, but Surfshark has a few features that really take it to the next level. First of all, this is my normal internet speed and this is my speed on Surfshark. There's absolutely no significant difference. And it works on unlimited devices, which means I can have my VPN active on my desktop, my tablet, my phone, my mother's phone, all with a single account. So follow the link down below for an 83% discount plus 3 months for free. And Surfshark also offers a 30% day money back guarantee so there's no risk to even try it out for yourself. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Let's start by talking about some of his normals. First up, his auto combo. His light attack looks normal but it has a lot of recovery so it's an attack that you can't poke with. It moves him forward quite a bit. So together with his second light attack his auto combo has enough forward momentum to even catch opponents that back dash after a vanish, similar to Goku Black or Cell. These attacks do not vacuum at all so other than the travel distance it's a pretty normal auto combo. At least until you get to his third attack which is a grab. Completely unblockable, you can use it on Oki, or after you set up some key blasts, you can even tick throw with it. Moving on to his crouching light, it is a low attack, but it is slower than usual with 11 frame startup. It's not that fast low that people usually want, but it's definitely better than nothing, especially since you can poke with it. The second low attack comes out a bit faster. Standing medium attack is also a bit slow, but on block, it's only minus one. So this would be your stagger point if you wanted to reset a block string. But there's no way to put it in a true block string. It can always be reversed, it can always be reflected, so using it can be a bit of a gamble. Standing heavy attack is a great button, you can connect with it from pretty far away, and on hit it will carry the opponent for about a third of the screen. Outstanding button for long range punishes or corner carries. Jumping medium has great reach too, perfect for winning air to air battles, and you can even cross up your opponent right in their face without having to do the jump back air dash. Still in the air, his jumping heavy is very unconventional, instead of knocking the opponent back down, it knocks them upwards. This changes his combo structure quite a bit, and even the traditional jump in heavy attack for pressure needs some better reflexes since you need to jump on hit to confirm. Better to just use the jumping medium as you're picking up the character. To come back down to the ground you're gonna need his jumping down light which is a dive kick and it's the only move from baby that gives you a sliding knockdown. So this will be how you'll see a lot of baby combos ending. Jumping down heavy is a very active down heavy button that launches the opponent sideways. Even though it looks like a projectile it certainly isn't. Even Broly with a barrier will get smoked by it. So it works just like any other down heavy in the air. Only it launches sideways Ways, so you'll need some knockdown ability if you want that sliding. A sliding ability, just like his jumping down light. The other buttons I haven't mentioned aren't really that special. Jumping light is what you expect it to be. Down heavy seems decent, but nothing special. Down medium is a bit short in my opinion, but yeah. He's got enough weird normals to throw off your muscle memory, and we haven't even gotten to the key blast yet. First up, not really a key blast, but forward heavy gives you the machine gun rush, which is this full screen flurry of air pressure. There's a gap before the second hit, and another gap before the third hit. But but if the opponent blocks the third hit, they'll be blocking for a while. This is a very dangerous move to use in neutral, it's very easy to whiff and will leave you very open. But if you catch an opponent on hit or block, they're gonna be stuck in this for a really long time, giving you enough time to tag in a character and even go for a mix up or confirm into a combo. It's one of the safest ways to tag in a character in the entire game. Now for real, key blasts. Standing special button shoots three key blasts extremely fast, similar in the air throws three key blasts, angle down this time, very good angle, and if the opponent is far away they'll angle up and go horizontally right before hitting the ground. Both his standing and jumping key blasts will return from off screen if they miss the opponent. If the opponent blocks or reflects them, they won't return, and they also won't return if baby gets hit or if you make baby block. Then we have his down special, which the community is calling acid rain. Baby shoots key blasts into the air, which then fall at a certain distance that is set by you. If you hold down back, they'll fall on top of your character. Down special throws them slightly forward, and down forward shoots them really far away. Baby also walks 
a bit forward depending on the version you use. So sometimes when trying to convert into combos, keep this in mind. If you need that forward momentum, you might as well use the down forward version. These key blasts also don't come back down if baby gets hit or blocks. Finally, forward special attack gives you the reverse shot. It's a single key blast thrown horizontally on the ground. And this is the only key blast that will return even if it is blocked or hits the opponent. It doesn't return if you reflect it or hit baby after he shoots it, but it will return even on hit or block. Moving on to special attacks, while on the topic of key blasts, quarter circle back and the special button gives you dark spring shot. It works both in the air and on the ground. Baby spins and throws key blasts that will return even if the opponent blocks them or gets hit, just like the reverse shot. This move is also air invincible, so it's a great tool to counter super dashes in the air. It's not invincible on frame one, but it stays active for a really long time. And if covered with an assist, it can be really hard to punish, and you get free pressure off of those key blasts. And this, together with reverse shot, because of all those returning key blasts, is what gives Baby some great solo combo loops in the corner. Quarter Circle Forward Special gives you the Revenge Final Flash, which is a beam that also works both on the ground and in the air. In fact, when you do it on the ground, Baby leaves the ground, covering a better angle. It is quite a slow beam with a long startup, but on the other hand, Baby recovers pretty fast after the beam is done. In fact, he can even combo in the corner after the beam with a very tight link. Moving on to his specials, first up we have the Revenge Driver with Quarter Circle Forward and the Light, Medium or Heavy Attack button. Baby jumps up and punches downwards. The Light Attack version is fast, but the range is shorter. The Medium Attack is slower, but has bigger range and also bounces the opponent in the corner, giving you better combos. And the Heavy Attack version is both fast and has long range, and gives you solo combos both in the corner and in the mid screen. This ability is great for extending combos with assists. Thanks to this, Baby works with a lot of different assist types. None of these versions knock down the opponent, they just bring them back down to the ground, similar to Super Broly if you ever play that character. All of these versions are safe on blocked, making it a good way to finish block strings. The attacks don't really hit as overhead, so it's not a real mix up, but they make block strings true and safe. Next up, quarter circle back and an attack button gives you I'm going to enjoy this, which is an anti-air grab. Very similar to Vegito's move, the light attack version is fast, the medium attack version is slower but gives you a sliding knockdown, and the heavy attack version is fast and gives you a huge knockdown where the opponent bounces before sliding. This grab works both in the air and on the ground and has air invincibility. The heavy attack version is a frame 1 air invincible move, whereas the light and medium versions are not. The knockdown you get from this ability isn't that great for keeping up pressure since it throws the opponent really far away from baby, but but it can be a great option for finishing combos when you're going for a super at the end. Finally, once you've killed at least one enemy character, you'll unlock his final special, Parasites Take Over, with down down and an attack button. Baby will summon the last character your team has killed and they'll throw their assist attack. The light attack version throws their A assist, medium throws their B, and heavy throws their C assist. Baby is vulnerable while calling this assist, so it can be risky to just do it without protection. It can be used in combos, but as you might expect, some things are gonna depend on which assist you've just stolen. Still, it's an ability that can absolutely snowball a match. If you have Baby with a stolen character and two assists, you basically have three assists against a dude who only has one. And this ability together with his returning key blast can lead to insane oppression in neutral. Moving on to his supers, he's got four different supers, a single level one and three level threes. First up, his level one is the full power energy wave. Can we just call this the final flash? Come on, everyone knows it's the final flash. Car circle forward and the right bumper or trigger. It's a downwards beam that's pretty hard to miss. It's got a huge hitbox and an amazing angle. If you call Baby from the bench, he will actually track the opponent. So no matter how high up they are, Baby will follow them. It's a really solid level 1 super. Next up, our first level 3 is the Revenge Death Ball with quarter circle back and the right bumper. This is a big orb that is thrown downwards. The higher the opponent is, the more damage it deals, but honestly, the extra damage is neglectable. I would rather worry about squeezing in more hits before throwing in the super, rather than throwing it from as high as possible. Now, even though this looks like a spirit bomb, it really is not. Time freezes as soon as you start this super, so it doesn't require a specific setup, it's a fairly standard level 3 super that works pretty much anywhere. And this is also the super that he does when he leaves the bench. Next up, the Great Ape Assault with quarter circle back and the right trigger. This level 3 deals even more damage than the Revenge Death Ball, but it is a lot harder to land. First of all, unlike the Revenge Death Ball, it can only be done on the ground. And you may remember that Baby doesn't have a normal jumping heavy attack. His options to bring an opponent back down to the ground are his jumping down light and his revenge driver, both of which leave him airborne. In addition to that, you can't cancel this move into any supers. You can't even do crouching medium into this, it just doesn't work. So the most reliable way of landing this ends up being after a vanish or after an air dragon rush. It's a lot of effort but the reward is worth it, especially after a character dies on your own team because the damage and the animation of this super get buffed. When the monkey throws the beam, you're looking at one of the most damaging level 3 supers in the entire game. Let's quickly look at his assists before giving you guys some tips on how to play him. A assist is the revenge blast, baby shoots 
unlocks three key blasts really fast, and these key blasts return if they miss the opponent. Unless the opponent hits you or makes you block. The speed of this assist and the key blast return on whiff is really the big selling point here. But don't forget that key blasts are fake pressure, they can be reflected, super dashed, etc. The B assist is almost the opposite of the A assist. Revenge Driver has a very slow startup, but it tracks the opponent like crazy on the entire stage, horizontally and vertically. And if they block it, you're looking at a ton of block stun. The biggest downside to this assist is obviously its startup. It can be easily interrupted, especially if the opponent is throwing key blasts, but despite it not having any invulnerability, it can still work as a reversal sometimes because Baby will teleport upwards and sometimes dodge the opponent's attacks entirely. This is almost like a C assist in disguise. And speaking of C assists, Baby C is a beam, the revenge final flash, and behaves pretty much like all other beam C assists in the game. And now that we know his moves, here are some tips on how to play Super Baby. My favorite place for Baby on a team is as a point character when you've killed someone on your opponent's team. The returning key blast together with a stolen assist and your own two assists can make this character the most oppressive character in neutral, but unfortunately, your opponent doesn't start the match with a dead character, so I'd argue the mid position would be the best one for him. Someone better than me might play him as an anchor, but given that his pressure relies a lot on key blasts and he lacks a bit in the mix-up department, I wouldn't be comfortable running him as an anchor. You could run him as your point character too, but if you're not using the monkey beam, you're not using one of the highest damaging level 3 supers in the game. Baby has no bad assists. B is gonna be the most universally loved, but given how fast the A assist comes out, it really is a great weapon too. So it's gonna come down to personal preference and team synergy, but regarding the characters that help out Baby, he's extremely versatile. Bringing opponents back down to the ground with Revenge Driver allows many assists to extend his combos, and defensive assists are gonna help him set up key blast pressure from safety. More advanced players will even be able to extend their own combos without assists by whiffing key blasts mid-combo, so he really works with most of the cast. With or without assists, his damage is really high, and so his is meter build. It's been by far one of the most fun DLC characters to lab ever. But because he's very unconventional, that will throw off some players as usual. His routes feel fluid, they encourage player creativity, and the optimal routes are always gonna depend on your team and the assists you stole. So check out Twitter or some combo videos once in a while if you wanna optimize the character. Or take him to the lab yourself and get the damage you deserve. But even with basic combos, his damage is already well above average. Great damage, meter build, oppressive neutral, works great with many characters, Character seems like the perfect character. Well, not really. Mix up is where he lacks the most, and that's not to say that he doesn't have mix. Jumping medium is a great cross up tool. There are many setups that he can use to steal the corner, and his pressure being made of key blasts, he can always bait reflects and super dashes. His dive kick can make it look like he's gonna cross you up, but he stays on the same side, throwing off your opponent's timing. But most of these options are indeed risky, and if you find a patient opponent who can react decently to your mix up, he's gonna have a lot of trouble opening someone up. And this is ultimately what makes him not so beginner friendly. His buttons are unconventional, which require a lot of practice to get comfortable with, his mix-up is focused on baits and cross-ups, and his neutral is focused a lot on key blasts, which is risky. You gotta be ready to counter your opponent if they reflect or super dash at you, and beginners are just not ready for that. But if you take the time to master him, he can easily be the most oppressive character in the game. And that's the breakdown for Super Baby 2. Don't forget to protect yourself with Surfshark, follow the link down below for a massive discount plus 3 months for free, and as always, thank you very much for watching, my name is Globku and I'll see you next time. Bye!